So now in Primavera, we will see how to add our budget to our projects. So for that, I am just going for project WBS. And here I already created one WBS like with planning and execution and then result. In execution, I also have substructure, superstructure and finishing. And I also added some activities to this uh, WBS. So for that, you can go for like project and activities. See like this, I, I have added like uh, planning. I also have registration, plan approval, Patta transfer, EB connection like that. So I added everything like this and result. I also have a handover and shifting. So this project I have done already. So in this, we will see how to add our budgets. So I'm just going to WBS. In WBS, like you can create budget estimates for each EPS nodes or project or WBS level. So now we are in this WBS, so we can able to create in this. And we can able to refine whenever it is needed. So you can just go to WBS and then there you can just go for budget log and there in original budget you can able to input the value. For example, for this uh, planning process, I am just going to input as 7,50,000. So I already input it. So this is like original budget. And for execution, I'm just going to put as 21 lakhs 50,000. And if you want to split this into substructure, superstructure and finishing, you can split. But now I, I have added everything in execution. Otherwise, you can just split it for this three actually. And result and for the result also I have another 12 lakhs budget original budget. So the budget change log. So this budget change log you can able to use to keep track of budget changes whenever they occur. For example, uh, in planning, if you have any other additional expenses, you can just add and then how much it is like a uh, one lakh. So one lakh. And the status here, we have three approved, not approved and then pending. So you can put if it is pending, you can just put pending. So when you are putting pending, you can able to see the proposed budget will change to 850,000. But the current budget is always 7.5 because it is in pending. But once you approve it, then the current budget will become 850,000 and proposed budget also 850,000. And if you are not approved it, then everything remains the same. So 750,000 current budget and then 750,000 proposed budget. So for example, if I am here like putting approved. So like 1 lakh additional, we have approved it. So the budget will increase by 1 lakh. So like this, you can be able to use the budget change log. And for example, for substructure, if I have something like uh, uh, you have anything like uh, some additional expenses like 50,000 and uh, I am just going to put as pending. So here proposed budget like 50,000 and for superstructure, I am just going to put another 50,000 and I am just going to put not abroad. So here it is like a zero. It is coming and for a finishing, I am just going to add. Uh, 1 lakh or 1 lakh and I'm just going to approve it. So again, we also have an, uh, another additional 1 lakh in our budget. So like this we have. So totally for our project, we have added the original and then the current proposed budgets. So for WBS, I'm just going for general notebook, budget log, spending plan budget summary see this budget summary is uh, something we have input using budget log where it is like a also showing variance so actually this current variance is the difference between the monthly spending of uh, that uh, eps node and its project tallies so if you have any other like a uh, spending plan like a tally shows only amounts previously recorded for lower level project spending plans. So totally for this project, I'm just going for a budget summary. So here we can able to see that we also have unallocated budget of 42 lakhs. 
so we are having unallocated budget of 42 lakhs so we can distribute this to our uh, project itself so you just click the project and then you can go for budget lock and you can specify the original budget you want for your project for example i'm just putting 45 lakhs now again i'm just going for project 1 budget summary now you can able to see the unallocated budget of 3 lakhs and distributed budget of 42 lakhs so we have distributed this 42 lakhs to the uh, lower level wbs this is something like top down estimation so we are just uh, like uh, splitting the budgets and then allocating to our wbs elements so the current variance it is something like uh, 45 lakhs only so for example if you have something for a uh, planning uh, you can just click project 1 and then you can just go for spending plan and uh, here you can just input some value for example i am just going to put 10000 or 1 lakh so totally spending plan 1 lakh undistributed current variance 1 lakh so now i am just going back to budget log or budget summary now you can able to see the current variance is 44 lakhs because undistributed current variance is 1 lakh so like this you can able to establish the spending plan and uh, here i am just going for planning and i am just going to redistribute that 1 lakh that we have input in project 1 for example i am just going to put 20000 uh, so i am just clicking and then so 25000 here so totally i am just going for project 1 i am just going for budget summary now can able to see like a total spending plan 1 lakh undistributed current variance 75000 total spending plan tally 25000 like this we can able to distribute to our elements this is something called top down estimation and i am just going for substructure i am just going for spending plan i am just going to input some uh, 15000 7500 now i'm just going back to project 1 i'm just going back to budget summary so there you can able to see the differences accordingly so here in execution we have undistributed current variance of 22500 so because we have input in substructure superstructure like that so i'm just going for execution i'm just going for spending plan and here we have undistributed current variance so i'm just going to uh, input as So twenty thousand for this, and then ten thousand for this. So totally now I am just going back. Now I am just going back to budget summary. Now you can able to see the values how it changes. Like before it is like only twenty five thousand in total spending plan tally. Now it became fifty five thousand as we also input in execution. So like this the total uh, budget unallocated budget current variances the spending plans will. Uh, will be useful in our projects we can able to like uh, uh, study this through this values so for the total project if you want to like uh, input something here you can put like uh, 25000 and then 75000 so totally like for this i'm just going for budget summary so the current variances are uh, distributed current budget everything so these things you can able to like redistribute or you can able to modify in later stages of your project so this is what like a spending plan and we can also like uh, input our budget log so in budget log only we also have like uh, we can able to modify the dates if you want by clicking this if you want something like a uh, previous dates for you can select and the amount and you can able to select the responsible person we can't able to select but you can type for example the site engineer is the responsible and the reason like uh, we can say like a uh, material material cost differences like that so like this you can able to update in a budget log as well and you can go for budget summary so there you can able to see everything